Hello. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Welcome to Native Camp. Good evening. So we, see the, we need to do a role play and switching our roles. Okay? okay. Let's start. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh -huh. You will be be here. Okay. I'm practicing the piano. Do you practice the piano very often? Yes, I do. I practice the piano whenever I can. Now we, we have number one to number eight here. We need to do it the same with our model conversation, okay? Okay. Let's start with number one now. What's Carol doing? She is watching the news. Does she watch the news very often? Yes, she does. She watches the news whenever she can. Yes, very good. Let's switch the roles. What, uh, what's Carol doing? She's watching the news. Does she watch the news very often? Yes, she does. She watches the news whenever she can. Next, let's go to number two. What's Eduardo doing? He's swimming. Does he swim very often? Yes, he does. He swims whenever he can. All right, let's switch now. What's Edward doing? He's swimming. Does he swim very often? Yes, he does. He swims whenever he can. Let's go to number three. What are you doing? I'm studying math. Do you study math very often? Yes, I do. I study math whenever I can. Yes, let's switch the roles now. What are you doing? I'm studying math. Do you study math very often? Yes, I do. I study math whenever I can. Let's go to number four now. What are Mr. and Mrs. Park doing? They are exercising. Do they exercise very often? Yes, they do. They, they exercise whenever they do. They? They can. Uh, they can. Yes, let's switch. What are Mr. and Mrs. Park doing? They're exercising. Do they exercise very often? Yes, they do. They exercise whenever they can. Okay, let's move on to number five now. What are you and your friend doing? We are playing Scrabble. Do you play Scrabble very often? Yes, we do. We play Scrabble whenever we can. Very good. Let's switch. What are you and your friend doing? We're playing Scrabble. Uh, do you play Scrabble very often? Yes, we do. We play Scrabble whenever we can. Let's go to number six. What's Mrs. Anderson do doing? She's reading poetry. Poetry. That, yes, poetry. Poetry. Does she read poetry very often? Yes, she does. She reads poetry whenever she can. Very good. Let's switch. What's Mrs. Anderson doing? She's reading a poetry. Does she read poetry very often? Yes, she does. She reads uh, poetry whenever she can. Let's go to number seven. What's Daniel doing? He's playing baseball with his daughter. Does he play baseball with his daughter very often? Yes, he does. He plays baseball with his daughter whenever he can. Yes, let's switch. What's Daniel doing? He's playing baseball with his daughter. Does he play baseball with his daughter very often? Yes, he does. He plays baseball with his daughter whenever he can. Let's get to number eight now. What are you doing? I'm chatting online with my friends. Do you chat online with your friends very often? Yes, I do. I chat online with my friends whenever I can. Yes, let's switch. What are you doing? I'm chatting online with my friends. Do you chat online with your friends very often? 
Yes, I do. I chat online with my friends whenever I can. Okay. Do you like to ski? No, I don't. I'm not a very good skier. All right, let's move on now to our activity. Just like the same overall our model conversation, let's start with number one. Does a Richard like to sing? No, he doesn't. He's not a very good singer. Yes, let's switch. Does Richard like to sing? No, he doesn't. He's not a very good singer. Let's move on to number two. Does a Brenda like to swim? No, she doesn't. She's not a very good swimmer. Yes, let's switch. Does Brenda like to swim? No, she doesn't. She's not a very good swimmer. Let's go to number three. Do Mr. and Mrs. Adams like to skate? No, they don't. They are not very good skaters. Yes, let's switch. Do Mr. and Mrs. Adams like to skate? No, they don't. They're not a very good skaters. Okay, let's go to number four. Does Arthur like to dance? No, he doesn't. He's, he's not a very good dancer. Very good. Let's switch. Does Arthur like to dance? No, he doesn't. He's not a very good dancer. Let's go to number five. Do you like, do you like to type? No, I don't. I'm not a very good typist. Yes, let's switch. Do you like to type? <coughs> Sorry. No, I don't. I'm not a very good typist. Let's move on to number six. Do you and your friend like to act? No, we don't. We are not a very good actors. Yes, let's switch. Do you and your friend like to act? No, we don't. We're not a very good actors. Let's go to number seven. Does your grandmother like to drive? No, she doesn't. She's not a very good driver. Yes, let's switch. Does your grandmother like to drive? No, she doesn't. She's not a very good driver. Let's go to number eight. Do you like to play sports? No, I don't. I'm not a very good athlete. Very good. Let's switch. Do you like to play sports? No, I don't. I'm not a very good athlete. Let's go to number nine. Does Howard like to cook? No, he doesn't. He's not a very good cook. Cooker. Yes. Cook. Cook. Cook only. Okay. Let's switch. Does Howard like to cook? No, he's not. He doesn't. He's not a very good cook. All right. Go. Okay. I'm practicing soccer. I practice soccer every day after school. My soccer coach tells me I'm an excellent soccer player, and my friends tell me I play soccer better than anyone else in the school. I want to be a professional soccer player when I grow up. That's why I practice every day. Yes, okay. Right, move on to paragraph number two. Okay, my sister Anita is practicing tennis. She practices tennis every day after school. Her tennis coach tells her she's an excellent tennis player and her friends tell her she plays tennis better than anyone else in the school. Anita wants to be a professional tennis player when she grows up. That's why she practices every day. All right. Now, I have questions for you for the first paragraph and the second, okay? Okay. Question number one. What am I doing? Hmm. I'm practicing soccer. Yes, exactly. Very good. Next, though, what's, what does my soccer coach uh, tell me? Hmm. My soccer coach tells me I'm an excellent soccer player. Perfect. Okay, let's go to paragraph two, question number three. What do Anita's friends uh, tell her? Her friends tell her she plays tennis better than anyone else in the school. 
Yes. Question number four, does she, or what does she want to be when she grows up? Anita wants to be a professional tennis player when she grows up. Yes. Okay, let's move on to the third paragraph. Go ahead, please read. My brother Hector is practicing the violin. He practices the violin every day after school. His music teacher tells him he is an excellent violinist and his friends tell him he plays the violin better than anyone else in the school. Hector wants to be a professional violinist when he grows up. That's why he practices every day. Yes. Number four. My sisters Jenny and Vanessa are practicing ballet. 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 They practice practice ballet every day after school. Their ballet instructor tells them they are excellent ballet dancer dancers, and their friends tell them they dance better than anyone else in the school. Jenny and Vanessa want to be professional ballet dancers when they grow up. That's why they practice every day. Yes. Okay. Job well done. Let's go to our question now for the third paragraph and the fourth one. How's Hector doing? Hector is practicing the violin. Very well. How often does he practice? He practices the violin every day. Yes. Okay. Let's go to paragraph four. What are Jenny and Vanessa doing? Jenny and Vanessa are practicing ballet. Yes. What does their ballet instructor 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 tell them? Their ballet instructor tells them they are excellent ballet dancers. Very well. Job well done. Now let's move on to page six. Reading a check up. Okay. Okay. We have the question and the answer here. You're talking with a person who told the story on page five. Using this modal conversation, create dialogues based on the story. He will do a role play here. I will be A first and you will be B. Okay. okay. Mm. What's your sister Anita doing? She is practicing tennis. Does she practice very often? Yes, she does. She practices every day after school. Is she a good tennis player? Yes, she is. Her tennis instructor says she is excellent and her friends tell her she plays tennis better than anyone else in the school. Yes. All right. Let's talk, to, let's talk about another paragraph. Now, what's, um, what's Hector doing? Hector. Okay. Uh, he's practicing violin. Does he practice very often? Yes, he does. She practices okay. every day after school. Yes. Is he a good uh, um, violinist? Violin player? Yes, he is. His coach said he's excellent and his friends tell him he plays uh, the violin better than anyone else in the school. Yes, okay, job well done. It's time for us to move on to listening. Yes. Okay. Mm. Let's listen and choose the correct answer. I'm going to play the audio for number one. It starts now. One. What are you doing? I'm practicing football. Let that be. Yes, very well. Better be number two. Two. Do you watch the news very often? Let that be. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. How about number three? Three. Are you a good swimmer? Let that be. Yes, I am. Yes. Number four. Four. What's Kathy reading? 
Letter B. She's reading the newspaper. Very good. Next, number five. Five. Who cooks in your family? Letter A. My husband cooks. Yes. Number six. Six. Do they like to skate? Letter B. No, they don't. Yes, letter B. Number seven. Seven. Does your sister want to be a ballet dancer? Ah, letter B. Yes, when she grows up. Very good. Number eight. Eight. Do you and your friends play basketball very often? Letter A. Yes, we do. Yes, number nine. Nine. Are your parents good dancers? Letter A. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, we're on the last one. Ten. What does Peter want to be when he grows up? Letter B. He wants to be a soccer player. Yes, okay. That's the end of our listening activity. Now, Let's move on to the last one in your own words, okay? Okay. Tell about studying English. Just answer one by one. Do you go to English class? Class? Where? When do you go to class? What? What's your teach, teacher name? When do you practice English? How do you practice? Who do you practice with? No? Okay. No, no, I don't. No, I don't go to English class. I see. So I think. We don't have any questions for this one because you don't have you don't go to English class, right? Hmm. How about do you practice? Uh, yes, I practice English every day. I see every day. So, who, how, how do you practice? I study. I practice English. Um, by online lessons. Yes, online lesson. So who do you practice with? Uh, I practice English alone. Alone, I see. All right. Yes, all right. Let's move on to our modal conversation. Let's do a role play. I'll be A here. Okay. Start. Who are you calling? I'm calling my sister in San Francisco. How often do you call her? I call her every Sunday evening. Let's move on to the next. Let's do the same. What are George and Herman talking about? They're talking about their grandchildren. How often do they talk about them? They talk about them all the time. Okay, let's, let's go to our activity. Maybe we can do this for number one. Who is Mr. Tanaka calling? He's calling his son in New York. How often does he call him? Uh, he calls him every Sunday evening. Okay, let's switch. Who is Mr. Tanaka calling? He is calling his son in New York. How often does he call him? He calls him twice a week. All right, let's get to number two. Who is Mrs. Kramer writing to? Uh, she, she's writing to her daughter in the army. How often does she write to her? Uh, she's, she writes to do, her daughter in the army uh, at twice a week. Yes. All right, let's switch. Who is Miss, Mrs. Grammar writing to? She is writing to her daughter in the army. How often does she write to? She writes uh, to her once every week. 
All right, we cannot move on because we don't have enough time, Ken. Thank you so mm. much for having my class. Thank you so much. You did a great job. Bye. <laughs>
So you don't really need to pronounce the entire word. Who are you calling? Hmm. Although that is uh, the formal way, the correct way. But hmm. you can also just say, who are you calling? Okay. All right, very good. So number one, Mark is busy and choose the next, the correct one. He's ironing his pants and shirts this morning. Correct. Okay. My daughter. Chat online mm -hmm. with her friends every day. Okay. Chats. Okay. All right. Number three. We watch our favorite TV program every afternoon. Okay, very good. We watch. All right. Number four. What are Am and Rita doing? Okay, very good. Okay, number five. They are talking about their grandchildren. Number five. Sorry, uh, that was, uh, okay, that was the answer to the question of number four. So what are uh, Anne and Rita doing? They're talking about their grandchildren, correct. Okay, let's go to number five. Ken? Uh, yes, why are okay. your neighbors arguing with the landlord today okay very good next number six does your son practice the piano every day correct number seven i call my cousins in denver once a month okay i call right very good and the last uh, number eight is your wife working today correct no okay, she can oh, sorry uh, please continue no she isn't she doesn't work on saturday okay very good so this is a grammar lesson and you answered everything correctly Break, broke, buy, bought, cut, cut, eat, ate, fall, fell, go, went, hurt, hurt, L lose, lost, meet, met, right, wrote, sink, sank, speak, spoke, swim, swam. Teach, taught, write, wrote. Okay. As you can see, these are verbs under simple past tense. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's continue. One moment, please. Did Emma sleep well last night? Yes, she did. She was very tired. Yes, she did. She was very tired. Why? What did she do yesterday? Why? What did she do yesterday? She worked on... She worked in her garden all day. She worked in her garden all day. Okay, very good. Now let's go to the pictures that you see there. Okay. So look at picture number one. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, did you... Did you sleep well that last night? No, I didn't. I, Why? I Sorry. studied English. Wait, uh, wait. You need to, you need to wait for me to ask the second question. So, first question: Did you sleep well last night? No. Yes, I did. Why? What did you do yesterday? I studied English. Okay. 
So the uh, like uh, the sample conversation, you can say yes, I did. I was very tired. Ah, okay. okay. Hmm. All right. And what? Why? What did you do yesterday? I studied English. Okay. Now remember the question is: Did you sleep well last night? So you can say I studied English last night. Okay. Okay. All right. Look at the pic second picture number two. Uh, did Rick sleep well last night? Yes, he did. He was very tired. Why? What did he do yesterday? He painted his apartment all day. Okay, very good. Look at picture number three. Did your brother? Did you and your brother sleep well last night? Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. We were very tired. Why? What did you do? What did you and your brother do yesterday? We washed windows all day. Okay, very good. Number four. Did Mrs. Taylor sleep well last night? Yes, she did. She was very tired. Why? What did she do yesterday? She taught all day. Very good. Did Henry sleep well last night? Yes, he did. He was very tired. Why? What did he do yesterday? He delivered pizzas all day. Hmm. I don't remember delivering pizzas yesterday. I did, however, teach English yesterday. <laughs> Remember my name, Ken? Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's uh, continue with number six. Did Sarah sleep well last night? Yes, she did. She was very tired. Why? What did she do yesterday? Uh, she wrote letters all day. Okay. Did Matthew sleep well last night? Yes, he did. He was very tired. What did, why? What did he do yesterday? He rode his bicycle all day. Hey, okay. and next, did the president sleep well last night? Yes, he did. He was very tired. Why? What did he do yesterday? He met important people all day. Okay, Ken, did you sleep well last night? Yes, I did. I was very tired. Why? What did you do yesterday? I studied English all day. Wow. Okay. Very good. Ken, uh, you did very well, <laughs> and I hope I, I hope to Thank see you, you so again much. soon. Bye. You're welcome. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. So please repeat after me. Okay. Okay. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Okay. I was, I wasn't. I was, I wasn't. He was, he wasn't. He was, he wasn't. She was, she wasn't. She was, she wasn't. It was, it wasn't. It was, it wasn't. We were, okay, we were, we weren't. We were, we weren't. You were, you weren't. You were, you weren't. They were, they weren't. They were, they weren't. So okay, now let's read you. the modal conversation. So let's have the first one. So just please repeat after me, okay? Okay. Okay. Did Robert shout at his dog? Did Robert shout at his dog? 
Yes, he did. He was angry. Yes, he did. He was angry. Okay. Did Helen sleep well last night? Did Helen sleep well last night? No, she didn't. She wasn't tired. No, she didn't. She wasn't tired. Okay. okay. Thank you. Sir. Okay, so let's have the activity. Please answer my questions. Okay, number one. Did Howard fell asleep in class? Yes, he did. He was bored. He was? Bored. Okay, he was bored. Okay, number two. Did Amy take the plane to Rio? No, she didn't. She wasn't on time. Okay, next. Did you cry during the movie? Yes, I did. I was sad. It was sad. Ah, it was sad. Because it's the movie, right? Yeah. Okay, number four. Did Brad, did Brad do well on his exam? No, he didn't. He, uh, he wasn't prepared. Okay, exactly. He wasn't prepared. Okay, let's proceed. Did Frank and James forget their lines during the school play? Yes, they did. They were nervous. Okay, so next. Did you and your sister cover your eyes during the science fiction movie? No, they... Uh, no, we didn't. Uh, we... We weren't scared. Okay, good. Next. Did Abby finish her dinner last night? Yes, she did. She was hungry. Okay, good. Last one. Okay, here. Did Timmy drink all his milk? No, he didn't. He wasn't thirsty. Okay, thank you. So now, it after okay, me once. Okay. I was working. I was working. She was working. He was working. She was working. She was working. It was working. It was working. We were working. We were working. You were working. You were working. They were working. They were working. Okay. Very good. How did Marty break his leg? How did Marty break his leg? He broke it while he was snowboarding. He broke it while he was snowboarding. That's too bad. That's too bad. Okay. 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 Number one. How did Greta sprain her ankle? She she broke it while she, she broke it while she was playing volleyball. Okay, she sprained it. Ah, okay. She sprained it while she was playing volleyball. Oh, oh, that's too bad. Okay, number two. How did Larry lose his wallet? He lost it while he was hiking in the woods. On, on the woods. On the woods. Okay, that's too bad. Okay, number three. How did Brian cut himself? He cut himself while he was shaving. Okay, while shaving. Okay? okay? He cut himself while shaving. That's too bad. Okay. How did Mr. and Mrs. Harper burn themselves? They burned themselves while they were preparing dinner. Okay. They burned themselves while preparing dinner. That's too bad. Number five. How did Stella rip her pants? She ripped her pants while she was doing her daily exercises. Okay. 
so she ripped it while doing her daily exercises. That's too bad. Number six, how did your grandfather trip and fall? He, he tripped and fell while getting off a bus. Okay, while getting off a bus. Very good. That's too bad. How did Peter poke himself in the eye? He poked himself in the eye while talking on his cell phone. Okay, next, that's too bad. How did Marilyn cut herself? She cut herself while chopping onions. Okay, that's too bad. How did Timothy get a black eye? He, he got a black eye while fighting with the kid across the street. That's too bad. Okay, number 10. How did Presto, Presto the magician, hurt himself? He hurt while... Ah, he hurt himself while practicing a new magic trick. Okay, very good. good. job for that. Okay, so anyway, let's proceed to the next activity, okay? Okay. So we will have reacting to bad news, okay? So okay. just repeat after me. Okay. That's too bad. That's too bad. That's too bad. That's too bad. That's a shame. That's a shame. That's a shame. That's a shame. What 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 a pity. What a pity. What a pity. What a pity. I'm sorry to hear that. 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 Difficult experiences. Difficult experiences. Okay, so this time please read the first paragraph. Okay. Miss Henderson usually teaches very well, but she didn't teach very well this morning. In fact, she taught very badly. While she was teaching, the school principal was sitting at the back of the room and watching her. It was a very difficult experience, experience for Miss Henderson. She realized she wasn't teaching very well, but she couldn't do anything about it. She was too nervous. Okay, great. Okay, so now I'll ask you questions about the first paragraph, okay? Okay. Okay, so just please answer my question. Did Miss Henderson teach well this morning? No, she didn't. Why? Because uh, while she was teaching, the school principal was sitting at the back of the room and watching her. Okay, so that's really good answer. Okay, so now let's proceed to paragraph number two. Okay. okay please start. Starrett usually types very well, but he didn't type very well today. In fact, he typed very badly. While he was typing, his supervisor was standing behind him and looking over his shoulder. It was a difficult experience for Stuart. He realized he wasn't typing very well, but he couldn't do anything about it. He was too upset. Okay, great. So now I'm going to ask you about paragraph number two. Okay. Okay, okay so how did Stuart type? How he typed uh, badly today. Oh, very badly. He typed very badly. Okay. Why couldn't he do anything about it? Hmm. Why? Because uh, while he was typing, his supervisor was standing behind him 
and looking over his shoulder. But uh, why couldn't he do anything about it? Why? He realized he wasn't typing very well. Okay. So the reason why he couldn't uh, do anything about it because he was too upset. Okay. Okay. So now let's proceed to paragraph number three. Okay. okay go. The Baxter boys usually sing very well, but they didn't sing very well last night. In fact, they sang very badly. While they were singing, their parents were sitting in their audience and waving at them. It was a difficult experience for the Baxter boys. They realized they weren't singing very well, but they couldn't do anything about it. They were too embarrassed. Okay, very good. So again, I'm going to ask you some questions for paragraph number three. Okay, okay how did the Baxter boys sing? They sang very badly. Okay. Why was it a difficult experience for the Baxter boys? Because while they were singing, their parents were sitting in the, in the audience and waving at them. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so let's have paragraph number four. Okay, so please make it a little hurry because um, okay. uh, I mean faster because we're running out of time. Go. The president usually speaks very well, but he didn't speak very well this afternoon. In fact, he spoke very badly. While he was speaking, several demonstrators were standing at the back of the room and shouting at him. It was a difficult experience for the president. He realized he wasn't speaking very well, but he couldn't do anything about it. He was too angry. Okay, good job. So, did the president speak well this afternoon? No, he didn't. Why couldn't he do anything about it? While he was speaking, several demonstrators were standing at the back of the room and shouting at him. Oh, okay. So anyway, yeah, well, you really did great. All your answers were really correct. Thank you so much uh, for choosing me as your teacher tonight. Yes, I do hope to see you again next time in my class. Okay. Yeah, thank you so Goodbye. much. Bye. ネイティブキャンプは月額で受け放題のオンライン英会話です。概要欄に公式サイトへのリンクを貼っておきます。